Hello, my quilty friends. Are you ready to get this party started? <laughs> I know it's been 15 days and we're already in the middle of January, but first of all, I'd like you to meet Tinker. I know I haven't introduced you and I'm sure you've seen him running around here and probably doing some crazy things, but he just had a haircut yesterday. And this is Tinker. Tinker, say hi to everybody. Oh, he's bashful. He bashful, baby. Tinker is a chocolate schnauzer. Um, he came to be with us in September. Um, a lot has happened. Um, I do have another video that I've started to make, but I haven't got it uploaded yet. So I will tell you a little bit more about uh, what happened in, in that video. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about, but let me put him down. And... Um, I uh, figured we'd get this Tilda, Tilda, um, bleh. All right, <laughs> let's get this thing started. Um, really what I want to do is go over with you today on how to get your project prepared um, with cutting and, and sorting out the pattern. So um, on the pattern, um, there is a lot uh, going on on this tractor and on page four, we have our first tractor set. Um, we are going to make five sets of this pattern and there's actually two more after this. So we're going to make 15 tractors and five in each set. So this is the first set and um, it's kind of confusing because it has it has the, the, the block all broke down. But what it doesn't do, what it doesn't say is um, the backgrounds and the colors and all of that. So I kind of um, wrote everything down in my notebook and how to break this down. Um, but first I want to kind of go over with the go over with you with the colors that I got for my tractors and, and how I want to build my quilt. So um, let me show you what I got here. Let's see. I showed you in the in the introductory on January 1st that I had this um, fat quarter bundle of I think it was the farmhouse summer. I got this from Missouri Star Quilt Company. I ordered it. And this, these bright, beautiful colors, I want to make my tractors in. And I'm not really sure how they're gonna come together. I just kind of wing it as I go. But I do love these colors. And um, January 1st, I told you I went to the Super Sale at Aaron's and I did get a background color. And I got this just plain uh, tan color. And this is called Wheat. And I don't remember the line that this came from. She got a new line in of, of salads salad colors and I'm not sure what line it is but um it's a salad color and I wanted something to match because I also told you about a tilde fabric I'm going to incorporate a tilde fabric into this project and um I had gotten on this this website and it's called stash fabrics and this is her card stash fabrics and you can find it online uh stashfabrics.com it's on the back uh, nice, nice company. She had some Tilda fabrics and I found this little field mouse uh, Tilda fabric. I just love it. I am going to use this for a border on my quilt and I know that the pattern doesn't call for a border but I'm going to put a border on mine because I really wanted to incorporate this this fabric because all I, and I've seen this mouse all I could think is like a field mouse in a field you know when you're plowing and you got a tractor it just kind of fits for me and I also got the background fabric to kind to incorporate it so everything kind of flows together um, I know a lot of people question about like different colors of fabrics and things that you know we worry too much if it's gonna go together but don't overthink your colors. I like to pull colors out of different fabrics. So I think this is going to look great. And I really wanted a nice border. And I love that wheat background because it reminds me of like earth. And at Aaron's Super Sale, I also got a couple more fabrics. This um, really caught my eye because I love the color. This is a poppy cotton. Um, and I really like this fabric as well because they have like these little labels on the salvage of this fabric and they are really fun and maybe I could incorporate them in my quilt. So some of the things um, on the salvage it says calling all cowgirls, farm life is the good life, um, Prairie Sisters Homestead and it has little chickens on it. Some of you can kind of see. These are just really cute and fun to kind of incorporate in your quilt. So... 
just just something to think about if you would like to get some poppy cotton and uh, get those little labels they'd be cute to put on the engines of the tractors or whatever as well and I also got some of this uh, orange fabric I'm not sure what line this is um it's studio 37 fabrics by Laura Behringer um, I'm not really sure but I loved the small print in this fabric and I want to incorporate it in with um, my tractors and I also got in my own stash of stuff and I found this pink because in my fat quarter bundle there is some uh, pale shades of pink maybe these might be great for the tractor centers or I don't know I'm just I'm really not sure until I start putting things together but I just really like that nice light pink and on my tractor tires I want to do them like part brown and part black and I haven't got my black color out yet but um I thought it would be really fun to look like they were rolling through dirt because most tractor wheels you know they're black but um I found this retro-y looking um print it's brown and it has these little black dots on it with the little flowers and I think I don't think this is a retro print it's called Funky Flowers by Darlene Wallhood connecting threads it might be an older fabric I'm not sure where I got this but it was in my stash and I just thought it was fun and this is also a couple of fat quarters that I had that are brown with these big flowers on it so I just thought they would be really whimsical for the tires and I also had a little piece of this that maybe I would incorporate maybe on the smokestack or or something or the fender and also like a pale gold color for like maybe the headlamps or the steering wheel so those are just some of the colors that um I want to Put in my tractor so um this is a pattern that you can really get creative with with your fabrics i mean um i just think it's gonna be really cool you know and even you could use farm uh fabrics like the farm all or the alice chalmers or john deere and you can make your tractors however you want i'm gonna make mine kind of girly and fun and whimsical and also in the pattern the tractor engine has like um eight different blocks you know so the, the the pictures are very colorful but i want to make my tractor engine um in just all one print so i had jim kind of help me uh figure out how to make it just one size instead of the eight little blocks you do what you want to do for your tractor you don't have to do what i do i'm just getting my own little creativity on here because i think it would be really cool to make the tractor engine parts in the large print flowers. I just, I, I don't know, I can, I'm an, I'm an envisionist <laughs> and I could just see this kind of thing in my head. So I don't know, um, maybe I'll mix it up. Who knows? I'm just, I have a lot of ideas in this head of mine. <laughs> so anyway, um, how I broke this pattern down because in this pattern they have the background fabrics. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> It's the hubby. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What you doing? <laughs> um, I'm just wanting to explain how I'm going to break this down and so everybody can be able to cut up their fabrics before we get started. Because there's a lot of cutting to this. Is this the tilde? Yes. It's about is. time. I know. I know. I wanted to get this started earlier, but I got sick. I lost my voice for four days and it was pretty quiet around the house it was kind of nice yeah i couldn't talk i, I had, literally had no voice that's the first time that ever happened so so i'm feeling pretty good now and i think it's time to get this party started with us and i know a lot of people out there are waiting to get this, this started because this is really going to be a fun thing so i have a notebook here and i kind of broke down because they give you the the pattern and it's all in different sections of how to do this and so i wrote down all of the shaded all the shaded letters i broke down because that's going to be my background fabric and then every like the bird i know i want the bird in a certain color so i i broke everything down i'm trying to show you my notes <laughs> you're gonna have to figure this out and how you want to do it but i wrote down each section um for each color to what to cut so um when i get my pieces all cut and i'm going to do five sets because we have to make five tractors in this particular this particular one so um i want to cut all of my sets up so i have five sets all my background colors for like the first section would be the bird and the steering wheel so i have all my background pieces cut for that and then the pieces cut for my bird and my steering wheel and then you got your your um 
your tractor engine, you want to cut your background pieces and then cut out your pieces for what you want your, your smokestack and your, your engine. And then of course the back part of the, the large wheel and the fender, I want to cut my background fabric pieces for that and then my colors for my fender and my wheel. And then the bottom front wheel, you'll want to cut out your background pieces and your, your wheel colors and that and have them all labeled, you know, so then we can, um, put it together in the next video. So I don't want you to have to see all the cutting. Um, if you can measure, you can do this. I mean, it's pretty basic and simple to cut up your pieces. Um, I recommend getting some, um, those little square, uh, labels, like you can write, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. They're, they're plain and that you can stick them onto your, your pieces of your fabric after you get it cut up. So you can have your A's, B's, C's, you know, and so on for your, your um, pieces. That way you can kind of keep track of what's what. Or um, a lot of people have those little uh, alpha bitties that you can get from the Fat Quarter Shop um, that, that have the numbers on them or the letters. I have those as well. Or you can get pins that have the, the letters as well to kind of keep track of your your um your pieces for each each quarter of the the tractor block so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my stuff all cut up and um prepared and in the next video um we will have all the pieces ready and cut and we can put this thing together like a puzzle and it's going to be really great to see how everybody um does their tractor and whatnot and I'm really excited so I'm hoping that maybe you all will either email me some pictures of your tractors or upload them or share them on um, Facebook on the country quilting Facebook that we have here for the farmhouse um I don't know uh so it's gonna be interesting anyway so I'm gonna get busy on um cutting up my pieces for the first um the first tractor and after I get you know started with those we will put those together and then we will move to the the next set you know, and do those and then we'll get on to the third set. And then of course we'll put our, our quilt top together, but it'll be interesting to, um, do these tractors and make them up in different colors and see what y'all come up with. This is just so exciting. So I'm kind of not sure how I'm going to put mine together, but I, I, I'll do it as I go along. I mean, I'm a visionist. So, um, so I uh, hope you all get started on cutting up your pieces. I've got all my stuff ready. I'm going to get it started and my next video hopefully will be up shortly on all of my cut pieces and we'll get started. So if you're new, please like and subscribe and join along on this little Tilda journey with me. It's, it's going to be fabulous. So um, stay tuned. I'll talk to you later. Bye.